Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy, The Real Deal. So today, we are going to be having a look at one of my favourite champions in the game. He is an absolute game changer, and he is the king of arena. Nobody can touch this boy. It's Hegemon. He is godlike. So, what we'll do is I will talk you through how to build him, skills and masteries, and why he's so good. And then we're going to go into the arena and have some fun. So, just before we do that, what I thought would be fun is I'm going to go into the arena and if I, I'm going to try and do at least five plus games just to demonstrate how strong he is and this team comp is. But if I lose one game, I'm going to be eating this dirty old manky banana. So I don't really like bananas to begin with, but this one especially is old and disgusting. And um, I don't eat skin, so I'm not going to eat the skin. And I don't eat the bum end, so I'm not going to be eating from this part. But I'm going to eat six inches of banana in one go if i lose one game so the stakes are high and i'm not i'm not looking forward to it so let's try it and not lose so let's have a look at this old chap mr hegemon so let's start with builds you can go full nuke which would be savage and cruel basically you'll be putting your best gear on him and gloves you'd want um crit damage so let's not look at that just yet uh, you want crit damage gloves attack chest attack boots attack banner attack ring and then crit damage uh, necklace and then the substats you want to be looking for basically you just want to get your crit rate up to 100 and then you want your crit damage and attack to be as high as possible so basically you're just looking for um substats of attack percentage crit damage crit rate and then speed and accuracy are just a bonus. So um, I've always built them as a CC champion. So you can go for uh, triple perception, perception and daze, and perception and stun. Um, shout out to Yenna, toot toot, who has uh, been, we had a lengthy discussion or slight heated debate about what's better, stun set or daze. And they've convinced me that I should swap to um, stun set because stun is the best form of CC in the game and a day set you know you put what's on sleep but you can disrupt that and they come out of their sleep and they still get their go where with stun they're out for the count and it's only a five percent difference so they've convinced me but the only problem is is my stun gear isn't as good as my days so I need to sort of build that up so let's have a look at the gear so you just want to be looking for substats of speed and accuracy. Um, I've got HP gloves for survivability, accuracy chest, speed on the boots, accuracy banner, and then the amulet just happened to have triple roll of accuracy. And then we've got a counter-attack ring for his A1, which I'll go into details. I know actually. So basically what happens is A1 hits two random targets. And if you've got a CC set, such as Daze or Stun, that will hit two rounds on targets and that will have a chance of proccing that stun or sleep so total stats 51k hp uh, 2.8 attack 244 speed and 453 accuracy so the accuracy and speed i'd like to try and bump that up a little bit and um, definitely can get it higher but I just don't have the gear at the moment but it's doing the job for g4 so what makes him so unique it is is it is his passive so he will always go first you've got a arbiter 400 speed Psh, it doesn't matter my hegemon is cutting in and looking out half your team however if they've got hegemon then it comes down to who's faster so that's why i like to go for control because then you've got a better chance of going first um and then his a2 is where his real power comes from so he'll attack all enemies so the other team will have four champions in arena and we have 50% chance of placing block active skills for two turns. So that means we have a 50% chance of locking out at least two of the champions in their team. Um, and also with that stun set or day set, you've even got more chance of locking out champions. And in general, I'd say I lock out three to four champions in a game. So that is such a good way to open. Um, and then, yeah, as I said, um, A2 attacks two times at random. And that pairs up also really nice with this mastery, but we'll go into it in a moment. And it has a 55% chance of placing decreased speed as well as uh, that chance of putting out stun or daze from the set. Also, Evil Eye 
it will help push back their turn meter as well so that's really useful so we go accuracy accuracy with a little bit more of accuracy then we just keep his turn meter going law of steel for that speed and accuracy uh evil eye for controlling their turn meter and then sniper and master hexer just to increase those debuffs that we're throwing out and increasing the chance of them landing so improved parry this is just to recruit uh, decrease any crits that we have any critical hits that we take by eight percent improve our healing resurgence is a massive massive mastery so that's an absolute must uh, and then uh, retribution just to get that counter attack so like i said if you get a counter attack you've got a chance of hitting your a1 out and locking out some from the other team and then if you do go um cc hedging one you must 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 take fearsome presence uh, to increase your chance of getting that stun and sleep by five percent so now we've looked at hegemon let's go into the arena and let's go full beast mode and wreck some peeps okay so this is a pretty strong team you've got arbiter trunda um cardinal and madame so this is the team that i like to go with you've got arbiter lydia hegemon and gembo so arbiter um speed boost speed lead and she can revive and she also heals uh lydia she's in there because she can also uh lock out another champion with her a3 a2 will do decrease defense and weaken and she can also block revives which is really important hegemon's in there just to lock out their team and then gembo just absolutely smacks but also um he's void so there's no worry about affinities so let's go in okay so hegemon knocking everyone out with the a2 three three peeps not bad okay so boost turn meter gonna cc madame lock oh didn't even lock her out okay and then we are going to uh slow her down again and put her to sleep and then we're going to charge up with my gembo and triple kill oh triple kill just only three but it's all right and then just finish off the team stick it on auto and there we go one out of one who's up next all right this is a pretty strong team arbiter lydia duchess and candy but i am confident we can beat this team as well so locking them out okay so uh, uh three out of the team again okay so i'm actually gonna go with um the a2 so yep just basically i just wanted to put out um also it does increase our damage but having that strength then also gives us survivability just because of candy and then we charge up multi kill and then <laughs> knock out three of them again all right and then we'll just solo duchess Come on boys, get put some work in. There we go, there we go. Okay guys, let's see who's on the hit list. Alright, so we've got a Hegemon team here that I can probably beat. Not gonna touch that, not gonna touch that. Another Hegemon team really makes it difficult. It does sort of make it 50-50. I could probably beat this team. Mm. Uh. Okay, there's some very diff. I mean, G4 is in a right state at the moment, so. Oh, do not want to be in bananas. Okay, so this is the team that I like to roll with. Got Arbiter. She is increasing turn meter, healing, reviving. She's got a speed lead. Then we've got uh, Hegemon, obviously, to lock people out. Lydia is blocking revive. She's got uh, on her A2. She's got decreased defense and weaken. She also puts strength on our team for survivability. And then her A3 also has more control in it as well. Um, and then you've got Gembo, who just absolutely slams and he's void. So he doesn't care what affinity they are. So let's get into it. 
If I lose on the first game, <laughs> I don't know what, I'll just jump out the window. Alright, so A2, locking them out. Yes, so we've locked out their Hegemon. Going to increase our turn meter. I'm going to lock out their Madame. And what's good about this team as well is that they're going to have their goes. And say any of them, like say Trunda was in a, had reaction gear on. Their reaction gear is going to lose their turn. And then we're just going to come in, charge up. Godlike. Full house, sit down. Unlucky Starlight. Okay, so this is also a very strong team. But let's go again. Um, and it, it, I don't know, I, I don't want to say it's 50 50, but because my Hegemon's faster, it does put the odds in our favour. But okay, we're still good. Basically, I want to take out their um, Foley. So should be strong enough. Yep, nice. And Gembo is so strong. Like, he's not in Savage or um, mine is in Swift Parry. Um, basically, because it's the only sort of leftover gear that I've got that's decent. And then um, Crawl. And he hits so hard. He's um, without um, decreased defense and weaken. He's doing like 60k damage. And with it, he's doing like 100 plus. He is just a monster. Okay, and we're just like picking their team off one by one. Uh, let's take out um, up to first. So let's boost our turn meter. Block the revives. Come in with the decrease defense and we can charge up. And sit down boys, sit down. Okay, so two reasonably strong teams there. Uh, probably take this team on as well actually. Yeah, let's go for it. So, Arbiter, Molly, Trunda, and Madame. I think the only person that can really cause me problems is their Molly. But providing... Oh, look at that. Full house. Everyone is locked out there. Um, oh, I'm just going to push back uh, Trunda's turn meter. Just to be careful. And then we're going to go for it again. Oh, they're all asleep. This is why I love this... It's so strong. It's so strong. Rampage. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So just going to push back up to turn meter. Then drop their uh, defense. And then take out Arbiter. And then even if Molly gets a chance to revive, which she won't, it's blocked. Game over, man. Game over. Alright. Next up. This one. Oh. It's really difficult because I feel like they're going to have a shield set in there from Brogney, which is the only thing that can really screw me over. It's like I could put Madame in there, but then if I've got Madame, she'll strip buffs, but then something like we won't have block revive. Just trying to think if there's another way that I could build it. No. Okay. Because we need Gembo to take on Leoris. So I'm praying. I'm praying. Oh my god. And they've got some pretty tonk shields in there. The only good thing is, we're definitely faster, I feel like. So hopefully this is just enough for us to get in. First. Alright. Come on. Killing oh. spree. My god. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it. I really did not think we were going to be able to do it. Alright, so I'm just going to lock out um, Duchess. This was such a strong team. I my, my expectations were so low. I can't believe we've done it. I really thought I was going to be eating a banana today. But it looks like the king has returned. But that, that was a serious team. You know, not quite plat. You know, not far off either. Okay, and we'll just take out Brogney. Good night. Uh, unlucky Janini. Okay, so let's give it a few minutes and then have a refresh. Oh, now this is a nasty team, but I think I can take it. Necred is a real problem. Um, but yeah, we'll give them a go. 
who else is looking tasty? This is sort of the team that I've got, except they've got a Ray. Um, okay, I'll take this one on as well. So you've got Liores in there, and Vizix, and Madame. So let's start from the top and work our way down. Oh, Stone Skin. Okay, it's really going to cause us problems. Um, okay, I have to play this really, really smart. Um, so I'm just going to try and take out two champions. Oh, okay, they got reaction gear. That's fine. Okay, their Sinesha doesn't hit too hard. Oh, okay, I stand corrected. Oh my god. Loser! Oh no. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wow. Oh, if that Necrid didn't have stain skin, that would have been a walk in the park. Um, that's really annoyed me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in my madame. I'm just wanna see if I can get like a chance to strip their buffs and redeem myself. Oh my god, I'm gonna be eating a dirty banana. Oh, <laughs> oh no, we didn't even la uh, we didn't even get the decrease speed. All right, so we're charging up. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Uh, in your face uh, yeah considering if like I said if they didn't have that stone skin I think I could have easily taken them out but yeah I still I'm still gonna eat that banana in one go um, as my punishment for being an absolute noob but um, yeah at least at least I managed to sort of redeem myself and and show this guy who's who's the real deal and who's a chump Okay, next up, we got this team. So, Arbiter, Leores, Vizix, and Madame. Let's go. Oh, I didn't switch my team out. <laughs> uh, I definitely would have preferred to go with Lydia. But that's okay. Alright, so we blocked out most of their team. So, what this team has the advantage of is with um, Madame, she doesn't disturb their sleep when she strips those strips buffs and places out her decreased defense and hopefully full house that's what i'm talking about unlucky koji ho all right okay guys so it's the moment you've all been waiting for let's uh let's chow down on this lovely banana oh it's even slightly bruised i hate it when you get that sort of bruised bit on it look at that oh so i've got a pretty big gob so i think i can fit that in quite easily and then I'll, i'm gonna do my outro when i've got a mouth full of banana oh my god it's much bigger than i thought it was oh oh all right so see you second Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video, I had a good laugh, I have really enjoyed myself. Please give me a cheeky thumbs up and smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Peace out, peace.